I, I think the most important thing is, is that it functions as an archive. Um, it makes me wonder, why is everyone walking around with their archives? It's as if we're worried about losing something. Or what does it mean to have a culture that's organized around this fear or this sense of loss? Um, I think the documentary cinema might have something to do with trying to make up that sense of loss. Every time I watch a documentary movie, uh, there's always this kind of message or this thought which, uh, which was in the head of the author. You can feel it in the movie or in the film. And as my uh, focus is on this like, clever machines, so I would just put this straight in the connection. And this is something which is really, really hard to get from the computers. The visual arts in some ways has uh, absorbed certain elements of the creative documentary or of cinema. Mm -hmm. um, because cinema, we've got to understand, in the last 20 years has lost its monopoly on the moving image. Maybe we should also think about uh, where the documentary film would be 20 years from today. And I think it's uh, going to stay the same. Basically, the documentary will, will be where the audiences will be. We don't know what place, uh, virtual place or whatever place this could be. I'm a, I'm a documentary fan and I'm quite a documentary purist, but I'm also a realist about how you communicate with an audience.